it's likely that at some point in your academic career, you'll be asked to find empirical studies from peer-reviewed journals. In this video, we'll explain what an empirical study is and what it means for an article to be published in a peer-reviewed journal. First, let's talk about empirical studies. If a professor asks you to find an empirical study, he or she is asking you to find a journal article in which authors describe original research that they conducted using systematic observations or experiments. Unlike a review article that may provide a broad overview of a topic, or an editorial that presents the author's opinions. An empirical study reports findings from one specific study and strives to do so scientifically and without bias. When you find a journal article, a quick way to check if it's an empirical study is to look in its methods section. In this section, authors will describe the process that they use to conduct their study, including who they studied, for how long, and the tools that they use. Now, let's shift gears a bit and talk about what it means for a journal article to be peer-reviewed. In order for a journal article to be considered peer-reviewed, it must be published in a peer-reviewed journal. These journals use a formal process to evaluate manuscript submissions. The process starts with two or more experts, ideally who know the topic really well, carefully critiquing the manuscript and writing up their recommendations to the journal's editor. The review is blind, meaning that the reviewers aren't given the author's names or their affiliations. The journal's editor then reads the manuscript and the reviewer's comments and decides whether the manuscript should be rejected, revised and submitted for further review, or accepted. What this formal evaluation process means for you as a researcher is that if you find an article from a peer-reviewed journal, you can rest assured that it's been critically assessed and meets the journal's publication standards. In APA PsycInfo, 99% of the items have been peer-reviewed. In fact, for new research to be added to APA PsycInfo, it must be peer-reviewed. The 1% of items in APA PsycInfo that are not peer-reviewed are historical and were published before peer-review guidelines were fully developed and accepted. Now that you better understand what it means to find an empirical study in a peer-reviewed journal, you can begin to search for these types of articles on your topic using APA PsycInfo. Thanks for watching. For more tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit the APA website.